Walt Disney, a man I always admired for his guts, his thoughtfulness and creativity, as well as love for trains, but most of all for Disneyland. So I wanted to honor him in sculpture. And here we go. Starting with just a bulk of clay, the process goes from just making a human, trying to attempt to make it look like anything, not even really thinking too much about any of the super details, just a structure. He's got big ears, big chin, and really wide eyebrows, and a friendly smile. But here I think I'm kind of massing in the attitude, the overall feeling. Little by little, I start to go in on the details. Get a lot of people coming in telling me what they see, what they don't see, what they need to see. I feel like he's gone from a creepy old dude to maybe Tom Hanks or Walter Cronkite. Ah, uh, that suit. That makes a big difference. That started to let me see the man emerge. These images may all look similar, but I'm starting to really get in and nitpick the little details. I think it's a reasonable facsimile. The molding process is very labor and time intensive. The sculpture needs to be molded in sections so it can be removed from the casting easily. As you can see, there are registration marks for this first half. The front face is covered in rubber. As you can see, there are registration marks and the support mold is made from fiberglass resin and sheet fiberglass. and fiberglassing is done again. Holes are made to register bolts to hold it all together. Demolding it, we come with the negative image and the sculpture is set free. It is cast with a liquid resin and backed with foam. The casting comes out crisp and very light. Here's the casting on the left and the original on the right. A meticulous paint job and you have a finished piece. 